everyone! Today I am going to be doing my September wrap-up. I enjoyed almost all of the books I read this month, so let's just go ahead and dive right in. The first book that I read this month was Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. I really liked this book. I had such a fun time reading this. There's just so much diversity in here. And also, like, even though this was a really funny book, there is also serious undertones of female empowerment and friendships. There's tons of Greek mythology and action. There's very little romance in here, which was okay by me. I just really like this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. Then I read Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass. This is the fifth installment to the Throne of Glass series. Let me just preface this by saying that I love Sarah's writing style and her ideas just explode across the pages and I love reading her work. Having said that, I must point out that from Queen of Shadows to Empire of Storms, we do see a major makeover in almost all of the characters to the point where they seem almost unrecognizable. But the change is just really drastic. Why can't we just go back to the good old days where Kale and Selena were a thing and it's like, who's Selena and where the heck is Kale? But aside from that, this book was still everything and I ended up giving this book a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read was Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. This was supposed to be a novella but it ended up being its own novel in the series so we don't even get to see Kale in Empire of Storms but he finally makes his appearance in here and the whole book is just Kale 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 and his interactions with a healer named Irene Towers. So the only thing that really got me through this book was the world building and Irene Towers. Both of those things were just so amazing. But anyways, I gave this book a 4.5 stars. The next book that I read was The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. This is the prequel to the Throne of Glass series. I have no idea why I waited so long to get to this, but I finally did after I read all of the books and having read this afterwards was quite the experience because I was just, I felt like I was reading backwards. You're supposed to read this book at least after the first couple of books in the series because you get the introductions of all the characters that are introduced in these two books, mainly Tower of Dawn. And I, mean, I was kind of confused in Tower of Dawn. Like, sorry, I did reintroduce them, of course, so that was kind of helpful, but still. You should read this book way before you get into these two books. And I ended up giving this a 4.5 stars. The next book that I read was The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Reading by Alexandra Bracken. This is a middle grade book about witches and demons and when I found that out I was like, yes, sign me up. I'm totally gonna read that because who doesn't like to read about mythical creatures around Halloween time? Like this was a perfect fall read. It had all the autumn vibes and stuff but something about this book like I felt like it was too the narrator was kind of trying to be too funny at times like the only character I liked was the demon but overall all of the characters I couldn't relate to them at all and I was just I felt so disconnected with this book I ended up giving this a two out of five stars I think and it was kind of enjoyable but just a tad. The next book that I read was Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. This book was so great. We get to learn about space and the universe. The writing was so clear and the explanations were so brief and so beyond intriguing. Neil deGrasse Tyson really has a gift for taking really complex and complicated ideas and concepts and just transforming them into something that's completely understandable. I was just completely absorbed the entire time. This book was so fantastic. I ended up giving it a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read was Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I checked this book out of my local library and now that I've read it, I really want to go out and buy my own copy because this book was that good. The basis for the story revolves around 80s video games and this book was just so engrossing and so imaginative. This book takes place in the future and basically the economy is collapsing and natural resources are limited. Life is pretty sucky until 
James Halliday creates the Oasis, a virtual place that contains thousands of worlds. So people like to tune in here and use their avatars to go to school, go to work, or just hang out here in this virtual reality. We follow our main character, Wade Watts, and in the world of the Oasis, his avatar goes by the name Parsival. He was such a strong main character and I really liked reading about him. Klein just really weaved everything so perfectly in such a clever way. Overall, the characters were all on point. The plot was amazing. It was funny, shocking, and I just really felt connected to all of the characters. I ended up giving this a 5 out of 5 stars. The last book that I read this month was A Dance with Dragons by George R.R. R. Martin. I finally caught up with the series and now I'm going to play the waiting game until the next one comes out, Winds of Winter, and who knows when that'll be because he takes forever to write his books. But I'm just really excited that I finally finished. Just, I feel so accomplished. But anyways, back to this book. This book was so detailed and so dense as expected. Um, the plot didn't really go anywhere. I felt like everyone was still just doing their own thing. But the characters are really complex as expected and so three-dimensional. Um, I just really like how none of the characters are neither good or bad. They are just so complex and you can easily see their vulnerabilities and any one of them can die at any point and that's the scary part. But yeah, I really like this book and I ended up giving it a 5 out of 5 stars. Big surprise there. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!